Hey everyone, what's up? It's been a hot minute. My last video was April 10th, 2023, and now it's July 4th, 2024. So it's been a while. A uh, few updates, different camera. Probably looks a little bit better. It's not 1080p anymore, so that's always a plus. Um, new environment, it's a little weird. So this is gonna be the way it is for a while. All right, so we're looking at iOS 18 today. And while you're watching this video, you might notice a few weird things, namely that the icons look really weird. There are some that just don't exist. It's like that weird checkerboard type thing, kind of looks like graph paper. There are some that are dark mode, some are in light mode, some are tinted, all weird kinds of stuff. And I think that's just because it's developer beta too. So maybe it'll go away in the next update. Who knows when that's gonna release though. For now, that's just gonna be how it is. Not that much we can do about it. All right, so the first big change, it's gonna be on the home screen. You can customize with tinted icons, dark mode icons, light mode icons, and they all look fantastic. The only caveat is that with the tinted icons, it's really easy to make a terrible looking home screen, like terrible looking home screen. I have yet to make one that looks even halfway decent, so your mileage might vary. Another new thing is that you can place icons anywhere. Android's had it since forever, but Apple has just now released it, and I think it's a really cool feature. It lets you make designs or move your icons around the design of your wallpaper, which makes it a little nicer, a little nicer. I like that, I think it's good. Another new thing in this update is that there is two new icon redesigns, or not icon, app redesigns, namely the calendar app and the passwords app and the settings app well i guess the passwords app is just its own new app so not really a redesign just a new app so let's talk about settings as you can see it looks pretty standard nothing really new until you get to the bottom and you see a thing that just says apps we all know it used to just have apps kind of spread out through all the settings menus now they're on one spot including apple's default apps which is really nice so if you're looking for an app it has a search bar at the top. Just search up the app. Finds it right away. Really good. I think this is a good move overall. I like it. Then over on the calendar app, it just looks a little cleaner. New UI. Looks a little cleaner, a little more smooth. I think it has that kind of material U look. I like it. Then we move over to the passwords app. You have codes, passwords, security risks. All really cool stuff. And if you get that 2FA code that expires every 30 seconds, you can add that to your passwords app as well. That way it's all in one spot. Who doesn't want it all in one spot? One spot is a good idea. I think this was a good move. Speaking of apps, there's also a new feature called hidden apps. When you go over to the very left library menu and then scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a little folder called hidden. You can drop an app in there and it protects it behind face ID and when it's in that file, it also doesn't give you any notifications so that if someone's just looking at your phone, they won't know that you even have that app installed. It's really weird. I don't really know what the use case for that would be, but it's a new feature, so I guess it's good. Just seems strange, I guess. Android's had this one for about a year now, so I guess it's good that we have it now too. While we're on the topic of apps, there's also a new feature called Game Mode. And basically, whenever you open a game or an app that your phone thinks is a game, which is pretty good at recognizing, it turns on game mode. And that's supposed to extend battery life, increase frame rates, and increase performance while basically pushing everything else off to the side, making your gaming experience better, in theory. I haven't really noticed a difference, though. Another really cool new thing is that you can change the toggles at the bottom of the lock screen. So you know how it's always been the flashlight and the camera? Now you can delete them and make them anything you want. They have a scroller build menu and it's actually pretty comprehensive, the types of things that you can put down in there. And I think overall, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I don't know who would change it. I guess if you use Shazam a lot, you could have Shazam instead of the camera. I think everyone's pretty much gonna have the flashlight though, but I think it's cool that you can change it. There's also some new wallpapers. Um, the pride ones look pretty cool, kind of like neon, got that light tube effect, if you will. Really cool stuff. 
Another new thing that they added for iOS 18? RCS messaging. Really awesome. My fiance has an Android phone. And since we both have RCS now, I can see when she's typing me a message, she can see when I'm typing her a message, and we get read receipts, which is amazing. Really cool, glad they did it. Can't wait to see where it goes from here. Right now I think it's only on select carriers. I have Verizon, she has T-Mobile, and it works. So, like with most things, your mileage may vary. Another really cool thing they added is the ability to customize your control center. So now you'll see on the left side or the right side that there's pages and then in the middle you can press and hold on the icon and move it around. And it's really cool. You can even move the volume and brightness sliders. There's what I'm calling the macaroni icon in the bottom right corner of most things. You can actually hold that, drag it, and it changes the size of it in real time and other things react around it. Really cool really customizable. I think this was a great idea. I love it. Speaking of the macaroni icon, other things that have it are widgets on your home screen. So you know when you have a widget on your home screen and you want to change the size of it, you have to delete it, get a new size, put it on there. Now you can just use the macaroni icon, drag it around, and the apps around it react in real time. So you're never left wondering, how would this affect my home screen? Now you get to see it happen in real time. You're never going to be surprised. I think this was amazing. All in all, iOS 18 Beta Developer 2, Developer Beta 2, it's not a great name, they need to come up with a better name. Overall, really good, few weird quirks, but what's life without quirks? Alright, that's going to be all for today, I hope you have a great day.